All right, so we're attending a STEM Academy in Shelby County, and we were talking about these design challenges where you make game boards and pianos and things like that out of everyday objects. And we couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking about creating devices for the special needs students. And I thought about it all day, and I couldn't get the idea out of my head, so I knew I had to try it. And so that's how it came about. So the students were um, paired up into design teams and were assigned a student from Miss St. Fields class. And so it all started with an interview. We got a student named Noah and we made a football game. Uh, it was challenging because we had to um, we had to do a pre-interview. So we had to figure out like his interests, like what he liked, what was his motor skills. So that was kind of hard. And then from there, they created devices, games, instruments, different things that they created that was specific to their child. Then we figured out like how we want to construct like the the controller because it was if it was too big or too small. And so then we had a day where we tested our prototypes and then went back to the drawing board and they had to do some problem solving for what didn't work, what did work, and um, then they created their final product. For us, I think the best part of the STEM project was seeing the learning process be a two-way street. First and foremost, my kids had an experience of seeing how a circuit really worked and getting that hands-on science project, but seeing Miss Rutledge's ninth graders in a very human, caring, and compassionate way and seeing what some of our students bring to them, seeing that side of them and seeing them very maturely handle that, that was an honor to be a part of. To me, it was sort of like, our students learning how to be our brothers and sisters keepers and that was amazing for us. The students got to create something from scratch and they had to problem solve and innovate and use all sides of their brain for this project and that was phenomenal. But more than that they had to address a side of their compassion and empathy that a lot of them had never addressed before and I think beyond anything else that's the most powerful thing that they've had is the experience of working with someone different from them. Go Eagles!